Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. All right, well, let's keep you updated on what's going on with the storm system again as we look at some of those peak wind gusts that we had uh, from the storm system. We had 68 mile an hour wind gusts in Manio, 60 miles an hour, Yorktown, 57 miles an hour into Virginia Beach, Norfolk, and into uh, Melfa, 53 to 41 miles an hour. The winds were really strong, and some of these gusts that we have on the screen here are fairly recent within the last hour. So this isn't two, three, four, five, six hours ago. They're fairly recent gusts. The rainfall totals, I've been able to add and tweak some of these. We're starting to see the numbers pick up a bit, especially Williamsburg. You're leading uh, right now at 4.16 inches. Elizabeth City, an inch and a half. Virginia Beach, about an inch and a half. Uh, Newport News, Suffolk, about three and a half inches of rainfall so far in some of your areas especially around Williamsburg and Suffolk, and even Newport News, actually, all three of these uh, top three sites had uh, flash flood warnings at one point earlier this morning. The good news is that that heavy rain is moving out of the area. We've been also having stories about uh, if you wanted to consider moving your car around areas in Portsmouth or into Norfolk, we're not seeing any problems with the tidal flooding, so you should be fine with where your vehicle is parked right now. I'm not concerned about that. Here's a look at the tropical storm, and as it moves to the north, this is the latest update. Winds uh, are quick with this storm. We're seeing wind speeds around our area around 40 miles an hour. The movement of the storm is very fast to the north-northeast at 33 miles an hour, but that is fine by me. I'd be happy to see the storm out of here. Two o'clock, the storm is near New York City and central New Jersey. So the storm continues that path further to the north. And then as we go into the, uh, the afternoon and into the evening, the storm quickly fades away as it moves further to the north and it gets out of our area. So we're looking at improving conditions now and going forward. I don't see how conditions are really going to deteriorate across our area. Time lapse, look at the clouds just flying by, the rain at times too. Notice how the clouds are switching direction. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to replay this one more time just so you can kind of catch that. So I'm going to go backwards and then going forward again. Notice how the clouds are coming in out of the south at first, and now as the storm moves off to our north, the clouds switch direction to be out of the west. That's kind of cool to be able to see that. That's a good time lapse there. But we've seen a lot of wind, a lot of rainfall across our area, and of course, we've also had some tornadoes too. This is where the storm is right now. We still have some rain coming through the Hampton Road cities. Still some tornado worn storms in Maryland and Delaware. Not here. We're looking good across our area. But again, a lot of tornado reports that we've seen throughout the morning. It was a really scary morning. And unfortunately, it sounds like there was a fatality too around areas near Bertie County and south of Windsor. This is the report here from south of Windsor. Significant damage at a trailer park this morning, uh, uh, this morning on Morning Road. And that's where I believe the fatality occurred in that area, which is horrible to hear. Otherwise, we also had other tornadoes too into Suffolk and around the area, Cortland. I've seen some pictures and some video from there. But the one around Suffolk, take a look at the radar loop. Now, these are the old tornado warnings. This is the old radar loop. And here's the time right here in case you're wondering what time in the morning it was. In case if you're in Virginia Beach, for example, and you slept right through this, this was around 3.15 in the morning when we had this tornado report right in this area. What we can also use is we can look at the storm wind and in this area, and there was a lot of circulation as that storm was moving through the area. A lot of that wind going towards the radar, going away from the radar, a lot of circulation. We could even see the storm and the possible tornado on radar at one point too as it moved over Suffolk. But now, no tornadoes across our area. Rain still continues across the region. This rain is lifting to the north. With it is also still a lot of wind out there. It's still really windy throughout Norfolk into Virginia Beach. 28 mile an hour winds right now in Elizabeth City, 17 in Kill Devil Hills. It's good to see it's starting to decrease. For the eastern shore, you're still going to see strong winds for the next couple of hours. You're not done with the wind yet. Suffolk, Ahoski, the wind speeds are eventually going to decrease here. Here's a look at our wind speeds going into the afternoon. They do decrease. So the windiest part of our day was earlier, and the windiest part for the rest of the day is right now. So things are only going to improve and ease back a bit. So like I was mentioning earlier, if you need to do some yard work or you need to help out someone to clean up their yard, we're looking at great weather for that into the afternoon. Once the storm gets out of the area and you start to see some of that sunshine, we'll start to see improving conditions. I don't see anything that will redevelop across our area today. That's a view at 11 o'clock. Look at the view here at 5, 6, 7. Maybe a stray shower passing by, but I don't see anything significant once again for today. You can see it here again on future track. 3 o'clock, there's a couple of scattered showers that could develop across our region. Overnight, 
More than likely, we're going to see passing clouds tomorrow. Let's talk about that. We see chances for pop-up showers and thunderstorms. We're now away from the tropical storm air mass, and we're back into that old summertime pattern where we see those pop-up showers and storms. That's, again, the possibility for tomorrow on Wednesday. Thursday, we're also looking at warm temperatures across our area. Upper 80s for the next couple of days. At least it's not extreme heat. We're done with the 97 degree weather for a little while, but instead we're going to be looking at temperatures in the upper 80s for today, tomorrow, and for the next several days.